Here at home, people will soon see a bump in their water and sewer bills. The Great Lakes Water Authority approving the hike today, and some of the reasoning is again because of the allegations Highland Park hasn't paid its bill. Jason Colthorpe live tonight to break it all down for us. Jason. Yeah, Kim, the lawsuits and the allegations between Great Lakes Water Authority and Highland Park are old news, but now there's a new debt, and it's one customers are not happy about. Wednesday, the Great Lakes Water Authority approved hikes to the water and sewer rates for the 2023 fiscal year by a 6 nothing vote. Water will go up 3.7 percent and sewer by 2.4 percent. We are a 501c3 water rights organization. We are a watchdog. We've been at the meetings of the Board of Water Commissioners, the GOWA. Miko Williams is with Hydrate Detroit and was one of several people at the virtual meeting to voice their displeasure with even a suggestion of higher water rates. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We have inflation and we also have service projects that have not been completed that require more money that we already are going to have to pay for it that we don't have. The GLWA says almost half of the sewer increase is a bad debt expense recovery attributed to Highland Park only paying half of its sewer bill from 2012 through 2021. That surcharge falls to other communities as the GLWA says Highland Park's outstanding balances continue to grow. But many who spoke at today's meeting flatly stated they should not have to pay someone else's tab. We can fight for affordable water across the region and across the state so that we can pay for affordable water that we can use and affordable water that we should benefit from. Now, a little more background on that, just for some perspective here. Water customers have already been paying part of that uh, debt related to Highland Park's bill since 2019. The Great Lakes Water Authority says Highland Park has only paid about 1% of its water bill since 2012. Highland Park disputes that. Now, the lawsuits uh, are at least two. Great Lakes Water Authority says it has two of them out there, one against Highland Park and the state of Michigan. And it says whatever it recoups from those lawsuits would be used to pay back the debt that these communities are all now shouldering. In Detroit tonight, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4.